Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Goats, greatest of all time. Let's get right into your reading. The moon is at the moon is at 92% illuminated right now. Depending on where you are, it could be daytime or nighttime, but it's 92% illuminated. We're gonna get right into your reading. So I know you're having a great day because that's the intention you said, right? Intentions are so, so, so important to your daily routine. Set your intentions, put it out in the universe of what kind of day you are the, you have the power to set those intentions, Capricorn. Let's get it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Capricorns as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and worth, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. This is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal one, please go to my website at queenamonra.com and so click on schedule your session let's get into it capricorns i am talking to my loyal hard-working team players who are also ambitious classy responsible self-disciplined self-control great managers of people money and time and also very very creative you're at the end of a cycle which is nice yes we're in a new moon phase well still um the full moon phase and i say new moon phase is at eight major moon cycles but we're in a new we're in a new one and so you're at the end of a long and arduous one where you've been enlightened and in some cases burned by people including family members but not anymore because you're moving on here we have the page of pentacles yes i see you all looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money i see you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to money which is very nice not only are you you may be working for somebody else but you're really starting to think entrepreneur you know what i can do i can start a business i can create the life that i want here we have ace of swords mm -hmm. we also have the star card which is attached to aquarius i see a lot of you all as healed not healing, but completely healed. And you are healing other people by your energy, your, your get up and go, your drive, the fire that's up under you. And we have the death rebirth card, right? So yes. So some of you all may be healing from the death of a relationship, the, the, the ending of a relationship. So you may be in grieving. You may have gone through grieving, but I'm telling you, the sooner you take that sword, because sword energy is attached to air signs, and you cut that thing off so that, you know, the quicker you will be able to heal. And some of that death looks like that person has no longer, has no more access to you. It could be in, currently an ex. I mean, no more access. Even if you have kids together, you will find someone to act as a buffer. Or if you are, you'll say you left the relate, you're divorced and, you know, you're with your new person. You'll make sure that new person is on emails and text messages. So your, your ex will get a very clear message that there's no doors open here. We're only communicating because it could be kids or, you know, kids involved, you know, maybe even a pet because some pets are considered as kids, right? But there has to be another person in there so that it's always monitored. So just in case that person thinks that they have a way in, no, you do not. I have moved on. And whether you have a new person or not, still moved on. I have moved on, right? So you're at the end of a cycle. So allow yourself to heal, heal completely <clears throat> in the way that you feel like you need to heal, right? We're going to be talking about the number 20, I mean, it's the number 93 on today as well. So I see a lot of you all staying busy, very, very busy working your businesses as well as, like I said, new windows of opportunity, as well as like working your regular job, right? And that's where you're going to see your breakthrough. You have to completely dead the situation. It can't be like, giving them a little bit of conversation here, access to this. No, it has to completely die so that you can completely heal. Because again, what's important, what connects with, when we talk about chakras, what connects mostly with earth sign are the root chakra, right? The root chakra. When your root chakra is aligned, it's in, when, when it's in harmony, you are profoundly connected to nature. You feel grounded. You trust in the natural laws. You're able to move with ebb and flow of life, right? You're not, you're not, um, cause when it's, we know what it looks like when it's out of harmony, there's an inability to trust nature. You don't feel grounded. You feel disconnected from mother earth. You have issues around your tribal beliefs or your identity, right? In relationships to tribal consciousness. Like you don't even really know where you stand in relationships. Like you really just feel disconnected, whether it's with family members, friends, whether it's, um, whether it's a love relationship or whatever. So you have to completely dead the situation so that you can heal and move on. You know, nothing like, like I said before, there's nothing like a balanced out 
Capricorn is and this this goes for all signs completely balanced out right and so you want to feel like you know you feel safe in very healthy ways right if you don't feel safe with that person for whatever reason and I can give tons of examples but you know if you didn't feel safe with that person in that relationship maybe they managed money poorly maybe they didn't put their family in place when y'all were around whatever it is you didn't feel safe you may have not felt safe at work with a manager who you know allowed just chaos to go on in the office and you to be attacked by other colleagues and the whole nine yards and they were just passive right however you felt this is where you want to make sure your root chakra is aligned so some of the crystals and gemstones you can get for you know keep it, keeping you feeling great Grounded and rooted is ruby, garnet, black tourmaline, bloodstone, obsidian, onyx, jasper, smoky quartz. Those are just some of them, right? And then for, you know, for again, and also getting your sacral, um, like your sacral chakra in alignment. This is where your, um, when there's a flow, your creative expression is flowing because you all are very creative signs, right? You're in touch with pleasure. You're able to share and express your feelings in very healthy ways. You're able to create and maintain healthy relationships. And that's the key healthy relationships. You can't be in a healthy relationship with the person who is completely out of balance. So you are focused on healing so you can balance out and be in healthy relationships. So what do you need to do again? Sever ties completely. It needs to be dead. No life. You're not breathing any life. Your earth sign, throw dirt on that thing, bury it and just move on. Okay, good. Good. You got it. Great. We're talking about balance here. Getting your solar plexus chakras in alignment. You want to feel at peace with your abundance. You want to be in touch with your clairsentience, which is the gift of intuitive information through feeling, right? Again, feeling this largest organ. You want to be in touch with all parts of yourself. And if anybody, including mother, father, adult children, your ex-lover, ex-partner, ex whomever it is, causes you to feel out of touch with yourselves, feeling out of touch with yourself, and you don't feel safe with that energy, you're going to have to dead the situation so that you can move on. And what feels makes you feel safe? Being connected to the earth, um, your soul tribe, which could may become your new family, as well as your money, right? So that you can create the life that you want, right? The number 93 means that you are highly intuitive. It means that you need outlets to express your feelings. It also means that you want to use your creativity to be a service of others. You want to live and create in a place of peace and contentment. And you can't do that without a, with a person who is out of, out of um, balance, okay? So you... Capricorn, the goat, greatest of all time. This is how you get to your success a lot quicker. And I see you being victorious doing it. I'm looking at at least eight streams of income for you all, at least. Okay, let's look at here. We have the two of swords, right? So you're going to take these blindfolds off and you're going to see exactly what you need to do to get to your place of peace. It is about you. No more overthinking. This is nothing to overthink. Cut all access off from those people or that person so that you can heal. And I'm talking about dead the situation so that you're no longer holding space for them at all. I don't care what their issues are. I don't care what they're saying. It doesn't matter what it is. They, don't, they should not have any more access to you. None. Here we have the four pentacles. I see you all traveling. Again, you're holding space for things that make you feel grounded and rooted. I see a lot of you all traveling, right? I'm looking at at least eight streams of income, right? So do what makes you feel safe. You. And I see you being victorious at it. And I see you being on fire, feeling happy, free, magnetic, the whole nine yards. Victory. Victory. There's a lot of fire in your cars. You're at the end of that cycle. Like I said, you're only focused on quality, not quantity of relationships anymore. So I don't care what that person's title is. I don't care what their job title is. I don't care who they know. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about you as a God time to stand up and take your rightful place. Okay. Come on now. Y'all know, y'all know how this works. You know how this works by now. So the majority of the minor arcana that I'm looking at here for you are money cards. Here we have connect with fire, throw their name into a fire pit, throw fear into a fire pit, false evidence appearing real, throw anything that, uh, that stops you from operating in faith into a fire pit. A lot of your family members don't even realize that you, Capricorn, were created to help them out of their, um, their, their dysfunction. They have been living by fear. They have contaminated you, Capricorn, with fear, but not anymore. You're tossing it into the fire. You're not going backwards. You're deading situations that don't serve your highest purpose. 
if people are at a later date, decided they want to ascend higher and they're at a different frequency and they come up to where you are, then if you want to open that door back up, just recognize they are not the same people that you left behind. So they're going to have to go through a probationary period. You're not going to just say, hey, I haven't seen you in 10 years. Let's pick up where we left off. Absolutely not. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. You don't know me like that anymore, and I don't know you like that anymore. We need to we need to get to know each other again. That's if. That's a big if, too. That's a big if. If you allow them back into your space, I don't care who it is. It could have been your favorite cousin who was locked up for 10 years, and all of a sudden they come home, or whatever the case may be, they are not that same cousin that you knew from before. You're going to have to get reacquainted. You're going to have to get to know them, right? It could have been an ex that you used to be married to 15, 20 years ago, even five, two years ago it could have been, whatever. Two, five years ago, three years ago, whatever, six months ago, they are not the same person. If you happen to see them, they are not the same person anymore. We have no choice but to evolve. We have no choice but to evolve. And depending on what rate they what, what rate they are, see you are you're healed, you're moving differently now because you're healed. You're not broken, you're not cracked, your 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 chakras are all in alignment. You feel connected to the earth, you feel secure because you created security for yourself. So you don't know who you're talking to, you don't know who they've been influenced by. It's time to stop being naive and wake up and start saying, okay, well, that person is not the same person. They weren't the same person they were five minutes ago. So you know they're not the same person that they are five, ten years from now. They're just not. Just like you are not. You are healed. You are healed. You feel grounded and rooted. You created safety for yourself. That is what I have for you. Again, connect with fire. Fire, in this case right here, is going to be your best friend. Fire them for life. Okay? Fire them for life. And again, if, if, and then when I say it's a big, big, big if, if you allow them back into your space, Capricorn, they need to go through a series of tests. They can come back to you and they can say to you, hey, listen, remember when we used to, yeah, that was then. We're talking about right now. So who are you today? What other connections has that person had? You don't know who they may have been contaminated by. You don't know who may, they may have been influenced by in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That includes family members. Yeah, that includes family members. So this is what I'm seeing for you. At least eight streams of income, traveling, you know, looking for new windows of opportunity. These, all of this looks great. I need you to remove these blindfolds and I need you to go ahead and, and that, kill that situation, dead that situation. Let it be done so that you can heal and move on. Toss names, feelings, anything that causes you to be stumped into the fire so you can heal and move on. That's what I have for you, Capricorns. Have a great one. And again, this is, today is Saturday, but this is Sunday's video, okay? So tomorrow you go look for it. I mean, if you happen to see it today, great, because I'm putting it up a day early. If you happen to watch it tomorrow, awesome too. Thank you. Bye.